In this video, we will be looking at the diversity of prokaryotic microorganisms. Recall that prokaryotes are single-celled organisms where each cell is able to carry out all the functions that are necessary for life. Prokaryotes share a common structure. They all have a cell membrane, ribosomes, and cytoplasm. They also contain chromosomal DNA that is located in the nucleoid, but the nucleoid is not surrounded by a membrane. Many will have a cell wall and short hair-like structures called pili, which are used to attach to other cells or objects. They can also have a tail-like extension called a flagellum, which helps prokaryotes move by rotating like a propeller on a boat. Some also have small circular structures called plasmids, which contain some of the organism's DNA. Prokaryotes come in a variety of shapes, spherical, rod-like, or spiral. Prokaryotes can also exist as pairs, clusters, or chains of cells. Scientists often use the shapes and arrangements of prokaryotes to help identify the species. There are two main groups of prokaryotes, bacteria and archaea. Bacteria and archaea are genetically very different, resulting in distinct cell wall and membrane compositions. Bacteria are the most common prokaryotes in your environment and on your body. They can be divided into the following five groups. Gram-positive, the cell wall of these bacteria gives a positive reaction to a chemical called a gram stain. Cyanobacteria, these bacteria make their own food by photosynthesis. Because of their color, they are often called blue-green bacteria. Chlamydias, these are parasitic bacteria that live inside eukaryotic cells. Spirochetes, these bacteria are shaped like tightly coiled springs. Some help cows digest grass, while others cause syphilis and Lyme disease. Proteobacteria. These bacteria are very diverse and make up about one third of all known bacteria. Salmonella belongs to this group, as do bacteria that cause ulcers. Some beneficial members of this group live in the guts of many animals, including humans. Archaea were first identified in environments with extremely harsh living conditions, and they are usually grouped by the extreme conditions where they are found. The halophiles live in areas of high salt, such as the Dead Sea in Israel and Jordan, and Great Salt Lake in Utah. The thermophiles live in very hot water, such as deep ocean volcanic vents, where the water can be over 100 degrees Celsius. The methanogens live in environments that lack oxygen, they produce methane gas and are often found in landfill sites. This concludes this presentation on prokaryotic microorganisms. Created using Powtoon.